What's up, guys? Today we're taking one of the most hated six stars of all time, Sukuna. You don't know how many buffs guys this guy has had in the past. I think he's on buff like two or three now or something like that. So uh, let's see how good he is, guys. And let's go Sukuna on Sukuna, guys. Because this guy is the new Conan replacement. So I think he's underrated, guys. Yeah, he's not good for infinite mode, but it's going to be good for storage. So let's see if he can solo himself. Number 96 story mode. Of course, we are going to use Golden Frieza for the air units, guys. Because, you know, he doesn't hit those airs, boys. I'm actually curious. We're not bringing Bulma, and we're not bringing Blackbeard. So, uh, we'll see if we can run this. And we're not even bringing Erwin, guys. So, uh, I'm, I'm kind of sketched out. I'm not sure if this is going to be rocking it. Or if we're, you know, just, just, just drop it. But, you know, we'll see, guys. I'm actually really interested. We're not doing extreme mode, guys. I have tested extreme mode a lot of times with him. He's very close. I feel like it is possible in duos or trios. But I haven't quite worked out the method yet, guys. Uh, plus, you need him for the method. So it doesn't really help at all. So we're going to start out, guys, by placing him. Now, I don't even have an orb on him. So the nice thing about him versus, like, another unit is you, don't, you can place an orb. So uh, we're going to place him right here for now. Uh, maybe we'll place him a little farther back, but this way he's a whole lot. Uh, we are going to be a little bit worried about the decelerates. Now, look at his stats, guys, at the start. His damage is crazy, but that SPA is not going to help him. So, I think our strategy to start out is going to be to spam him until, uh, we can get enough. But we are going to have to take out Powerfuls, etc. So, we do have Golden Frieza if, uh, Powerfuls, etc. come through. So, as you can see, like, looking at the health, guys, 207. We're doing 10 times the amount, so... Like, this is why this guy's actually pretty good. Like, he's he's going to carry you on story. Honestly, I think he's also the new Trial 2 meta. Of course, you're going to need Golden Frieza. But the thing is, that 10 SBA, yeah, we'll see it. Because right now, he's the equivalent of Conan with the Fire Orb, right? Except that you're trading damage for SBA, so Conan is better. However, you can also put an orb on him. So now he could be doing 4,000 damage or, uh, what's that? Like, 60-something range. So, uh, yeah, let's see. So, I mean, everything's one hit. So, he just has to hit enough. Uh, I think he's hitting two at a time, three if we're lucky. Yeah, he looks like he hits two at a time. That's the weird thing about AoE Circle. If everything was perfect, he could hit three, but it just doesn't work out like that, unfortunately. So, we are actually able to take out the Decelerate. So, and they only made it to here. So, I'm feeling we actually are going to be able to do this pretty well, guys. Sukuna on Sukuna might actually be possible. Now, we're going to drop another Sukuna, because I want to use Golden Frieza as sparingly as possible, because this is about Sukuna, not Golden Frieza. So now that we have two, we should be able to go through this a lot better. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Because uh, it's not as it doesn't really matter as much since we have two. Now, you see the 260. So honestly, all these guys should be one hits. Like, look at this, guys. We're one-shotting everything on wave three. Even the decelerates aren't even close, guys. Now, the question is, when will the Powerful show up, and then we have to shift shift gears a little bit? And also, will we be able to scale up our offense enough to take out the boss, since we don't have Erwin buff? I'm also not 100% sure on that. So, let's drop this guy here as well. So, now we have three Sukunas, so that's the equivalent of having, like, a 3 SPA and 2,000 damage. Which, honestly, should be enough for now. So, uh, I think we're going to look around to see if any Powerfuls are coming through. And make a decision based on that. I think I don't see any powerfuls coming anytime soon. So we're not going to invest in power. There's the first powerful. So I think those are going to be really, really slow. So I think our best bet is to invest into more Sukunas. Now again, guys, if you're running Sukuna, put an orb on him. Bomb orb. Blue eye orb on him. He's gonna That's going to help him out tremendously. Blue eye orb, maybe if you're doing the stories. Because the, the initial damage doesn't matter as much as you can tell. So, so look at this, guys. You see, we're still one-hitting everything, guys. And this story is up there. This is one of the later story modes, guys. Like, this guy is going to be just fine in, like, the final story modes as well. Especially if you're running with a lot of people. Like, this guy is great for story mode if you're running duos, quads, trios. This is the guy you want to be running. So, it looks like the Powerfuls are still a ways away. We're going to rock out with another Sukuna then, I guess. We'll place him. We will get a little bit of extra range at the end, but I'm not too worried about that. There we go. So, so far, we have six placed. So, that's 12,000 by 10. So, we're doing like 1,000 damage per second, which is pretty good. So, that should be enough with AoE. So, we're doing, we're doing good. 
We're doing really, really good right now. Uh, there's the powerful, so we are going to invest. I believe this should still be a one shot. However, power. Okay, we do see airs. Okay, there are powerful twos as well. So that is going to be a little bit more difficult for us to get, as that's a $1,500 upgrade. So I don't know if we're going to get the timing perfect on that, but we do get a wave clear notification, which is going to give us a lot of extra money. So, so far, we're actually killing the game. Yes, sir. The question is, will we be able to get $600 more before these guys show up? And I think we will. Again, though, this is only going to be damage, and we really care about SPA and Sukuna's SPA. Dang, man. The devs really did him dirty, man. If they should, When they added the last upgrade, they should have been, like, one SPA decrease or something. Like, just anything. Just throw us a bone, you know? But they did not, so we're going to have to go with this. Okay, now this is the upgrade that's good, guys. Crazy damage and five extra range is going to help us out a little bit, especially on this guy right here. So, that's going to be good. So, we do have that ability, that capability right now. However, our first set of airs are coming in with 570 HP. So, I kind of want Golden Frieza to be at a place where he's not only hitting the airs. So, we're, we are going to drop Golden Frieza down right here. But he's only going to be able to hit the airs because Sukuna should be able to take out everything. Because since Sukuna is not a hybrid unit. Guys, if they made Sukuna a hybrid unit, bro, he would, dude, everybody would love him. He would be the... He would be literally one of the greatest units in the game. But they decided to make him a ground unit only, which unfortunately makes him pretty, you know, relegates him to story mode only. Alright, so it looks like we have all eight Sukunas placed. So now we're going to ride... Okay, now this is the first kind of challenge. We have a cloner, so not everything is one hit anymore. Some things are two hits. So we're going to go with some upgrades here. And I think we're going to start investing in this guy. And I'm going to put him on strong for now. Um, And we're going to get a one or two more powerful guys. This guy. This guy can hit powerfuls now too. So we don't have to worry about powerfuls. There we go. So those, that's good to go. Now let's see what we're looking at over here with this cloner. Oh, uh, this cloner is looking at somewhere around 3k maybe. Something like that. Not too much to worry about, but we are going to go with this guy. This upgrade here is going to help us out tremendously on the harder to beat guys. And of course, Golden Freeze is in the back only for airs, guys, because if this guy was a hybrid unit, man, people would actually like him. So, <sighs> so we got that. So he's doing 12k damage with 10 SPA. So 1.2k DPS just by himself, which is pretty nice, especially with the 55 range. He's on par with like a Gilgamesh with AoE. That's especially for his price. But, I mean, he is at 1 SPA. I wish he was 1 SPA and 1 tenth the damage. That would be dope. But, alas, he's not. Now, of course, you guys want to see the attack effects. So, we are going to turn the attack effects on for you guys. Sorry about not having them on earlier. That was kind of a miss on my end. I need to make sure to turn the attack effects on. Earlier in the videos. Apologize for that. So, it looks like these powerful twos are going to get through. So, we're going to switch him to first for temporarily. So that Okay, these air units are coming in a little hot. Okay, we're going to get one more upgrade on those. There we go. Perfecto. All right, let's put them back on strongest, and we're going to get one on here. So now we can take out the powerful two. So this upgrade is not very good compared to this upgrade. So I, I have a feeling his upgrades aren't crazy. Actually, no, his upgrades at the end give him 10k for two. So I think maybe we're going to go invest in one, one big guy first. Before we go for a lot of small guys, we're going to check on the airs as well. I don't want to have to worry about the airs. 55,000, all right, that's no worries. Oh, and this guy is hitting, like, 17. All right, we're good to go. All right, let's get this guy here as well. Okay, Temple Domain now is 2,000, but I think he, he is going to get a bigger AoE, if I remember correctly. So this is going to be a great upgrade for us, especially for the value. So now we're going to be doing, like, 30k per pop. And this cloner has, like, tw okay, so everybody has a lot of health now. This cloner is really killing the game. So the health is definitely starting to scale, and our money is not. So, this is what happens when you don't rock with farm units, boys. Stuff gets hairy. This game is made for farm units. I think farm units might be required this high in story, but we're about to find out. I'm a little bit worried to see how much HP the boss has. That's, that's this may not be, this may not end well. We'll say that, put it that way. Now, if we had Erwin equipped... We would be good to go. But we do not. So this is a 9k. This is another 2k upgrade. We'll get that. They're kind of valuable, I guess. But now we're at 40k per hit. 
I don't see any bosses out. Let's check how much HP these big boys have. 40k each. Okay, we're good to go. They only have 40. So it looks like the big boys are having like 40k a pop. Airs have a little bit of HP as well. But it looks like we're still okay. Oh, wait, let me check the last. I think this is the last set of airs on wave 14. 7k. All right, we're going to need like one more. I don't really want to get upgraded anymore. I don't want to start affecting the other parts. Because he's actually not really even worth it. He's actually kind of just a hindrance. Alright, so this cloner is coming in hot. So let's get this guy to get that extra range. 9k, 24k. So that's one hit from one of the big boys. Okay, did the boss show up yet? Okay, so this is the final cloner. 17k cloner, is that what I see? I don't know if I believe it that that's that low. Maybe 80k? 80k would be a little sketch. Okay, so the okay, those big boys are coming with a lot of HP. So we need a lot of money and fast. Or we're gonna start running into issues. Okay, so this is a big upgrade. Uh, I do want to spread it out though. Um, hmm. not that good of an upgrade. 800 for 25k. I don't know. Get one of those. It looks like they are making it farther. So we did make it to wave 15, though. So uh, we'll see how it goes. No Erwin buff. Definitely, and no uh, no farm. So I think a farm might have been a better play here. I don't know if you would consider that cheating or not. But uh, let's see. So 2k. All right. So now we're at 50k damage. So that's a good bit of damage. Except it's a 10 SPA. Uh, these D cells are coming in hot at like 50k. We might have to switch this guy over to... Okay, now they're all smacked. We're good to go. So we got those big decelerates. So now the question is, are we just going to be able to hold off the rest of the people? Okay, the boss is coming in as well with... Uh, oh, oh, what is that? 1 million or 10 million? 1 million HP. That means we're going to have to hit 20 times? Yeah, that ain't really possible with one of them. Maybe if we get two of them, we'll be able to hit it. So we'll we'll see. Okay, that curse got really dang far. All right, these guys are getting really crazy far. We we need uh we need some upgrades. Loki, I feel like we could do it. Oh no, they're just moving too fast. We're just out of money, guys. Dang, that's tough, bro. That's tough, man. That is tough, guys. That's tough. Sheesh, the SPA, man. Ooh, maybe I need to move this guy on first. Come on, get a good hit in. Ah, uh, so close, guys. Oh, we were actually right there. We were right there, guys. We were right there. No Erwin buff did not help us. So, not quite enough to solo. Uh, with Bulma, yes. I'd say with Bulma, we would have been good to go. So, I think not bringing Bulma was a little bit of a miss on that one. Maybe in future videos, we will go ahead with the Bulma. But, uh, yeah, so, so, actually not too bad, guys. Suking up for story mode is definitely a vibe. So, definitely go check him out. He's definitely, uh, has an edge over Conan, depending on your circumstances. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and a little bit of a different, like, more positive take on Sukuna 6-star. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Last one out, yo. Peace.